to Cycle 2, Week 16. And here's your teacher, my mom, Jay. Bee, 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 bee. All right. We're going to do Cycle 2, Week 16, New Grammar. Let's jump in. This week for our history sentence, I printed off some pictures that came from... I'm going to get the name for you. And here we go, mama.com. And for uh, my kiddos, if you... These pictures go along with the sentence very, very well. It just splits it up into fourths. So, World War II began in 1939 when Hitler invaded Poland. Two engagements that helped the U.S. win the Pacific Front were the Battle of Midway and dropping atomic, atomic bombs. bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. So we are singing through that song and every time you sing through, you take away another piece of like, you know, we'll take away this piece for this time that we're singing it. We're taking away this piece the next time we sing it, okay? And that is how we did our history sentence for World War II. It's supposed to be helpful like the older kids do where they erase the board and everything, where they take away um, one chunk of their sentence for each time they sing through. We are taking away a picture every time we sing through because we have younger kids. Okay, geography. Amanda Predmore has created these awesome maps to go along with cycle two. And she has them in full color and she has them in black and white. So you can go ahead and trace and find. And I went ahead and took her colored map and cut it out like puzzle pieces. So you can see we have the Balkans, we have Greece in red, we have Albania in purple, we have Bulgaria in green, we have Romania in blue, and Yugoslavia in yellow. We just put them together like a little puzzle piece, cleared the board, did your puzzle again, clear the board, do your puzzle again. And that's how we did our geography. Okay? Thank you very much. That was geography. Math, the area of a rectangle equals length times width. I had a rectangle taped out on the floor. And so we had the kids jump and we sang along with the song that's gonna go for the rest of our geography part. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. So we kept singing through. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. The area of a rectangle equals length times width. Okay? And have fun singing that and jumping around if you can draw it outside whenever if you live in nicer weather yay but we live where it's cold so we're stuck with paper <laughs> I know, boo. okay english a verb is a word that asserts an action so do an action asserts an action like a kung fu movie Rawr. shows the state of being we're going to do a yoga pose you can go on the floor um, shows the state of being, links two words together, we're going to get linked together, or helps another verb. Here, I'll help you. All right, so a verb is a word that asserts an action, shows the state of being, links two words together, or helps another verb. There you go, there's your English. Science, John Riley is going to demonstrate our science for us. What is Newton's first law of motion? Newton's, Newton's first law, law of motion, motion is an object at rest tends to remain at rest, rest and an object in motion, motion tends to continue in a straight line at a constant speed, speed unless, unless an outside force acts upon it. Now fall down. I was the invisible outside force. Okay, that's science. Uh, our challenge for our students is start off slow when you're doing your motion part and the better that you get at the sentence start speeding it up because if you can say it faster that means you can go faster while we're while we're uh, saying the sentence over and over again okay um let's do timeline so it's age of industry age of industry you put your cogs together age of industry circa 1760 to circa 1969 James Cook sails to Australia, Antarctica. J for James, C for Cook, sails to Australia and Antarctica. There's your boat. Okay. American Revolution and General George Washington. R's for revolution, make them spin. American Revolution and General, there's your G. And General George Washington, go down like these are his uh, uh, badges, uh, rank. Everything like that, okay? So General George Washington. Madison's Constitution. So hold out your arm. 
There's your Constitution C. Madison's Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Take your right arm, Bill of Rights. The French Revolution, so French, there's your F, French Revolution. There's your R's revolving again. The Second Great Awakening. Louisiana Purchase. And the Lewis So like you're buying something. And the Lewis and Clark Expedition. So you're searching for something and you found it and you're pointing. So just like their statues have. So there's our history sentence. We added on for our presidents this week since we didn't want to have this all for the very last week. So we have the very first part. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk and Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, and we're Buchanan. And then Lincoln, where's your big hat? Lincoln. Okay. That's my favorite president. Yeah, I know that's your favorite president. Okay. Last but not least is our Latin. So here's our Latin. Joseph, are you ready to do this? Latin we're going to show you today with our party poppers. Three, two, Hold on. one, puppy. Okay. Our party, party poppers we got from Party City. They're just little champagne poppers. Wait until I say go. Um, because this is first conjugation imperfect tense. The first sounding, um, the first sound that we have is bomb. So when a bomb goes off, it makes everything that was perfect now imperfect. So the very first sound is one, two, three. Bomb is bunch. 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 First conjugation imperfect tense. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. There we have cycle two, week 16, new grammar. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. I have lots of stuff now.